Hi developers, in this video we will learn how to get tweets from Twitter and embed these tweets inside our Xamarin Forms application so that our application shows tweets from coming from a, a user or tweets based on a certain hashtag. So let's get started. We want to build an application that gets the tweets from a, a certain user or uh, tweets coming based on a certain hashtag so that uh, our application can display uh, these uh, data, the, the tweets, the name of the, uh, of the guy who did that tweet and if that tweet contains an image then it will go and retrieve uh, that image. So that works for uh, all Xamarin Forms uh, applications. So here you see it's working on my Windows, um, Windows Store application and here it's working inside my Xamarin Forms, uh, inside my, um, let's say, Android uh, emulator. So here you see again the text of the tweets with the pictures and uh, the name and, uh, and also the profile picture of the one who posts that tweet. So let's see how we can um, make this happen inside our Xamarin Forms applications. So here I have created a new Xamarin Forms application. So it have the portable uh, PCL project and the other projects for Android, iOS, UWP, Windows 8.1 and Windows Phone 8.1. So to add that functionality, there is some a couple of options. So the first one to think about is to use the Twitter API. And some other um, option is to use a link to Twitter, which is, let's say, a wrapper around that API because in API you have to manage um, a lot of URLs and you have to also uh, manage the authentication uh, process with uh, Twitter API. But with link to Twitter, those, funct those common functionality are uh, made uh, easy. And here there is some third uh, option, which is to use uh, a plugin called plugin.twitter. So let's take a look at that plugin. So let's go here to my solution, right click and go uh, select um, manage NuGet packages for solution. I'll go to browse and look for plugin called plugin.twitter. It's a plugin that works for uh, Xamarin Forms uh, PCL project, so that means it works for uh, all Xamarin Forms clients. So this client, this plugin, this NuGet package is based on link to Twitter. It uses um, link to Twitter. And in addition to that, it adds some uh, user interfaces. So the user interface we saw here, this page, is coming for, right from that uh, plugin. So you, it gives you, let's say, a sample page that shows uh, the tweets here. So you don't have to figure out how to use uh, that, uh, that plugin and how to integrate it inside your application. So it's, it will give you the sample code to easily and quickly get started. So let's uh, install this plugin, it's called plugin.twitter. Here I select all my projects and let's hit, um, or actually I just need it for my uh, my PCL project only. I don't need it to be installed uh, inside my Droid or uh, iOS or Windows platforms. I only need it inside my uh, PCL project. So I hit install. So you see here it's based on link to Twitter uh, plugin. Hit OK. So once it's installed you will see here it will add the um, uh, the needed plugins, all the um, all the dependencies to that plugin, and it adds also some three uh, folders called models. Here we have the tweet uh, class called a tweet is an entity that contains 
such as uh, this screen name that will be um, the person who posted that tweet and the text which will get the value of um, the, text, the content of that tweet, the 140 characters and an image URL, if the tweet contains an embedded uh, image then it will get that URL in this uh, property and also a media uh, URL uh, actually the um, the media URL is the embedded image of that Twitter and the image URL is the uh, image of the person who posted that uh, tweet the other folders we have, the other file for, uh, files are the Twitter view model and here the Twitter view model contains a list of the tweets and the goal here is to uh, to download the tweets using the init uh, tweets async this one will use the um, uh, the API coming from link to Twitter for that here um, it will call the application only authorizer object which uh, asks for a consumer key and consumer uh, secret and those are the only values you have to um, to give to uh, this um, API so that it can access um, you know, the uh, the Twitter API in order to uh, be authorized to retrieve data from Twitter. How you can get those values? Actually, you can use this uh, link here. If I copy that link and open uh, a new uh, web page here. Here I get the option to, uh, of course I should have um, an account on Twitter so that they can access this uh, application management uh, console in uh, Twitter. Here I should create a new application. I should give it a name, description, and some details and agree on that um, developer agreed. Once they have done that, uh, when I go to apps.twitter.com, I get all my uh, applications I have created. If I choose one of them, let's say it's a bookstore, for example, then here you get the consumer key API and, and if I go to keys and access tokens then here I get my two values for the consumer key and consumer uh, secret API which are the two keys required by, uh, the, um, uh, by the plugin to access the Twitter API. So here is the value of my Twitter uh, key. Let's copy that. And also the value of my uh, consumer uh, secret. So once I have done that, now I can go and ask uh, for authorization. After that, I can write my um, my request to a Twitter API. So a first request here is asking for all the tweets that uh, are related to a user. This user is uh, myself, Don is Hossam Delay, and I'm asking for a number of tweets to be um, thirty. Of course, I can change this value whenever you ask for 100 or you ask only for the, the, um, the recent three tweets. And after that, um, after getting that information from Twitter, I'll go and um, map that information to my uh, tweet model, to this one here, so that I can use it inside my views. So that I have get all that data from uh, Twitter, I, I put that data inside my tweets uh, property. I do that so, so that I can use uh, this one to show it inside my, uh, my content page. That content page is also added here by the plugin inside the views folder is Twitter view page. So you see here the plugin added the um, added the files um, with respect to the MVVM uh, design pattern 
So here you see the models, view models, and the views. The views here I have written it in C sharp. So in the view, in the views, I create a new instance of the Twitter view model. I set the binding context to that Twitter view model. Add some uh, labels to create the data template, and set the binding of each. Uh, value to um, to the property coming from the tweet then show all that data inside a list view so that the list view here um, binds the item source to the tweets the tweets the one coming from my uh, twitter view model here so that uh, this code will give you these uh, applications working on Xamarin Forms. So here you see in, um, in Android, it gives the, um, that view gives me uh, something that looks like this. So here I have the picture of um, the image URL, then um, the one who have posted that tweet, then the text of the tweet and the um, the image embedded in the inside that tweet so this is for the case where you want to get tweets of a certain user but in twitter also you might be interested to get tweets based on a certain uh, hashtag so to do that so here this this request is based on uh, the user but in addition to that you can get uh, tweets based on a certain hashtag so for that I have added a simple code here it's commented but you can go and uncomment it and use it instead of the first one so here I'm saying that my search type uh, instead of user it will be a search and I search for the query for Visual Studio so here it's like I'm looking for the hashtag Visual Studio but you don't need to add that uh, hashtag that will bring all the uh, tweets that have the hashtag Visual Studio so here you see that the Twitter view page con is written in C sharp but if you want to uh, write it in, um, in XAML I have provided here a sample, uh, a sample code that you can uh, use for your uh, XAML code. So you just go and create a new, uh, a new page and add this code where it does the binding context to the view model and create the list view and bind uh, the um, item source to the uh, tweets. Then here it creates the data template that uh, will show the screen name, the text, and the media uh, URL of the tweet. So thank you.